you guys n7 ecv qrp life here again talking about the go bag go bag for 2022 anyway what's a go bag to you what's a go bag to me i'm sure we're gonna differ in a few ideas of things but i'll just share which what i've got what i consider my go bag and uh the difference between a few other different uh bags that I carry. Thanks for joining me here on the channel. Uh, welcome to 2022 QRP Life. Uh, looking for a free to Washington and 70 CV Sean. Do you want that? November 7 Echo Charlie Victor. And 7 Echo Charlie Victor, 9 Echo, you are 59 number 336. Thank you, you are 59 number 1. Bless that number 1, thank you. India 4 Victor, Echo Quebec. Okay, so what's a go bag? I think uh, as an amateur radio operator, any of us could come up with all sorts of ideas of what a go bag might be. Uh, but for me, it kind of strikes the idea of uh, like taking my Nintendo to my buddy's house or my PlayStation or the Xbox anyway. Uh, anyway, that same concept of taking something your computer over for a LAN party or type setting. So something that's pretty much going to fit my communication needs, plug and play, sort of. Um, I'll break it down what I've got in here and uh, kind of show you the best I can. So starting off the go bag itself, right? The LC192. I've got this arranged a little differently because of how I've got my 705 set up. Uh, but we've got the AH705, the auto tuner. I've got a little sunglass case in here that holds my um, hand mic. I very rarely use this hand mic. Um, mainly because I've got the BT89. I enjoy this microphone. This sounds not great on the speaker. I'm going to probably upgrade one of these. I'm going to try a couple different models here for the channel pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, I use this quite a bit. Um, I chose this little case only because it fits right in here pretty good. Um, but with the tuner in the top half, I can still utilize the port when I need to. And it kind of keeps things lined out. Uh, I've had a lot of this equipment for a long time. If you've been a part of the channel, then you know like the battery pack. I've had it for years, but the MCHF I had just croaked out. Never worked once from the day I got it. It's always been an issue and it's just sore subject anyway. But uh, anyhow, bum, 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 bum. Uh, the 705 and the Sioki battery pack, Sioki battery pack. Um, I've got the uh, BP-272, the stock battery with the 705. I've got a 307 battery, and I've got the Suoki. And the Suoki is about a 150 watt battery with, um, it's basically a glorified 9 volt. It's 11 point something with a capacitor, I'm assuming, which makes it read, uh, or gives it the 12 volt. Um, the 705 recognizes about 11.9 to 12, so you'll get 10 watts for a little bit, 20 minutes or so. Uh, sideband once this starts to drop down around 10 watts this radio does not recognize it of course as a 12 bit output that being said I can get uh, 24 hours of steady receive and basic just net check-ins and use their sideband and I get about 12 hours uh, continuous waves or, or uh, that would be a, a full duty cycle, not continuous wave. So full full duty cycle with uh, FT8 or the like on this battery alone. So 12 hours, uh, roughly full duty cycle, 24 hours uh, sideband and just monitoring and stuff. Uh, made field day quite fun, actually. Uh, on top of that, there's an iPad Pro stashed in the back of this thing. There's a little compartment right there. Stash the iPad in here. Uh, I'm just recording with it right now, but it would slide in here. I also use a um, 
Windows laptop for like WinLink and a few other things that would may or may not come with me. But that iPad Pro will slide right in here and uh, it'll be kind of incognito. I've got the um, Icon 705 case with the screen cover from Ham Gear 3D. And that just about wraps up my go back. And that's, for me, that's what it is. Um, I've got a screwdriver antenna that I can put on my motorcycle, put on my car, put on a backpack frame if I want to, and I'll get into that with other videos and stuff, uh, but the tuner will connect right up to it. My only real regret out of any of this, I would say, would be the tuner. It functions great. It'll tune a screwdriver. There's proof online. It'll tune a scubby, stubby screwdriver. Uh, but for the price, it only being a 10 watt uh, tuner, it's only ever going to get used in this bag. That's it. If once I upgrade to an amplifier, I'm going to have to get another tuner or something, right? And yes, I use a tuner with a screwdriver antenna. Uh, I've blown finals with a screwdriver antenna before. So, yes, I use a tuner. At the end of the day, I fine tune it up. Anyhow, that's a go back. Quick and simple. Something that I can carry over to my buddy's house, plug and play, throw his antenna, my antenna if I've got one. Um, I do have other items that I carry in another bag. We'll go over my POTA and a uh, little expedition pouch and stuff that I carry with me that this kind of ties into uh, in another video for sure. But what are you doing? What's a go back for you guys? Leave comments down below, leave videos down below. Bug me on Facebook and say hi, do something. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm happy to be back. This is N7ECV73QRP Life, the only way to be.